girl goes crazy with food, but instead of gaining weight, instead, she lost three pounds while the girl was secretly happy, but she didn't know that a big worm behind her was sucking the fat out of her. The other day Mary saw a girl at the gym bragging to her girlfriends about how she, that she could eat anything without gaining weight. Mary saw a big worm behind the girl. It was sucking up the girl's fat. Puzzled, Mary went to check it out. She saw that the girl was thanking her trainer for keeping her body hot. Back home, Mary saw a news report. Two young women had died of anorexia. Mary thought it must have something to do with the bug she had seen during the day, so she rushed to see David. David had his secretary ask the girl to come out and find out what was going on in the name of signing her as a star. The secretary asks the girl the secret to keeping her body in shape. The girl said that she never got fat from eating because she has a weight loss tattoo. The secretary saw right away that there was something wrong with the tattoo. Goes back and reports to Mary. David tells Mary the bug could be parasitic on the human body through the tattoo, sucking the human's essence until the person died. If the root cause is not removed, the tattoo would probably keep spreading. David then entrusted Mary to draw out the bug to get rid of the bug. Mary changed into a red dress and went to the bar, only to find everyone here has that weight loss tattoo. Mary rushes to the bathroom after the girl, complaining in the mirror that she's gained weight again, asking the girl how she keeps her body so hot. The girl tells Mary I'll help you. Girl who eats food like crazy but can't gain weight without realizing that behind her is a giant worm that is sucking up her fat to lure the bug out. Mary changes into a red dress and goes to a bar. She finds that everyone here has a bug eating tattoo. Mary goes to the bathroom pretending to complain that she has gained a lot of weight recently. The pretty girl next to her tells Mary she's willing to help her lose weight. The girl smiles eerily at Mary. Then the tattoo split in half. It followed both of their arms to Mary's body. George, the boyfriend, came to the bar because he was worried about Mary. He saw Mary desperately trying to eat. George saw the problem right away. The tattoo was destroyed with a slap on the wrist. Mary instantly regained consciousness and lost her appetite. Mary took George to the gym and found the trainer, asking the trainer if he he had created the bug, but the trainer said she was just trying to sell weight loss tattoos for profit. That's when George sees the girl on the treadmill, tells Mary the real bug eater comes from the weak human mind. That's when Mary also saw the girl on the scale who had failed to lose weight with a cloud of black smoke coming out of her body. A woman is surrounded by a dark aura, and it was growing. The blackness was coming from the bottom of her body weight, and this scene was seen by Mary who has a shadowy eye. Mary could see from this blackness. All people who want to lose weight, every time they didn't lose weight, they got heavier and heavier. They had built up their anger on the weight machine. The result was a monster that sucked the fat and energy out of people. Just as Mary realized the danger that was coming to warn the woman, the huge creature entered the woman's body. The woman's eyes were red, and her face was marked with frightening black marks. There was a scream. The ear-splitting scream shattered all the light bulbs. The creature that had taken over the woman's body warned Mary, don't get in her way. It it was human complaints that had created her. If Mary wanted to kill her, then she would have to kill the woman first. But Mary didn't panic. She took a piece of broken glass and cut her finger. She used her blood to separate the monster from the woman. Looking at such a huge monster, Mary called out to her boyfriend George. George dispersed the monster with a blow, but the creature quickly regained its form. George hit it again, but the monster was back again soon. At this point George looked over at the scales. He grabbed a dumbbell and smashed it. The scale was smashed, and the monster disappeared.